Alright, what's up gamers? We're back with Pac-Man World 2 again, but this time, we're playing the PlayStation 2 version. Because the PlayStation 2 version has a couple of differences. Um, and I'm going to see how many of them I can document and notice. Besides the ones that I already know, like ghosts instantly killing you and a couple of level changes. That's about it, pretty much. So, yeah. I, I don't know how, um, I don't know how janky this will run. Because, uh, it seems like the PlayStation 2 version is slightly less optimized than the GameCube version. We'll see, though. Although the controls are the exact same, <laughs> which is good. Uh, is the game too loud? I think the game's too loud, honestly. No, is that just me? I think, I think that's just me. Okay. If anything, I think it might be too quiet. Here, I can up it a bit. Try, like, 20 volume. There we go. I mean, I should be paying more attention to the level design. Oh, the reveral sound is different. That's one difference already. Also, I think the, um, the HUD looks a little less... I think the HUD looks a little lower quality. one thing. That's gonna take some getting used to, the fact that there's a different, just straight up a different, um, rap roll sound. Also, I was thinking about it, but if I'm not mistaken, I think the water controls only get used, or like the, yeah, the water controls only get used in two levels in the whole game. And that's it. By the way, there is another change that I want to test. So, apparently, um, the chrome ball power only lasts for 20 seconds. So I'm going to test that out. We're going to mess around with it. Looks pretty nice, honestly. Might even look better than the GameCube version. Ooh, that's a nice noise. Oh, well, I reset the timer. <laughs> this is how you get the, um... It makes a different noise. <laughs> That's really weird. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure enough. Sure enough, it only lasted for, like, 18 seconds. Okay, it's 20 seconds. But yeah, the Chrome Ball power-up doesn't last for very long in this game. You made it to the level completion portal. There's also like a slight delay on the music. <laughs> okay, so that's that's another interesting thing. The like the little shiny noise. It continues into the, like, level intro. So, so far I noticed, like, a bunch of, um, like, sound effect changes. And mostly sound effect changes, because I'm good at recognizing those. Here we have this ghost. Remember the ghosts instant kill, so you really they're ri like they're a pretty big threat in this game. I kind of like that though. I kind of like that they're a threat. I might even prefer that. This guy probably also insta kills too. <laughs> and also, like the green splatter looks a little different. So this, is gonna, this might be a this might be like a two-parter. I don't know. 
Because I'm going to be going through all the levels pretty quickly. And, um, if I remember correctly, I believe the transition... Also, is the screen flickering for you guys, too? Yeah, it is. I'm not sure why that happens. That's a bit weird. It's not very pleasant to look at, I can tell you that. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I would like to go up there, but I don't think I can. So yeah, since I'm kind of be kind of like going through this pretty quickly, um, like I said, this will probably be a little shorter. And then once I'm done with the PlayStation 2 version, I'm going to go back to the GameCube version. We're gonna try and finish up 100%ing it. That's where I think like the kind of meat of this Let's Play is gonna come from, because um, obviously that takes a little while. Are these apples and tokens always here? <laughs> See, I, I, I need to remember, like, what, what's been here normally and what's normally not here. Oh, that is really weird. Weird-ass camera angle. <laughs> I think that rev roll sound is the same in the, uh... Japanese version. I'm kind of glad they changed it, though, in the re-releases, because I kind of prefer that noise. <laughs> I, got, I grew up with that, so that, that sound is just kind of iconic to me. The boss different, though. I know that. Oh, wow, the puddles actually, like, animate. I don't remember that. There are some effects that are just way easier to emulate on PlayStation 2. But yeah, the the boss moves a lot faster in this version. Oh wow, yeah, look at that. That is really fast. Holy shit. <laughs> it's like a hard mode. Who neat robot frog? That's something that is a big shame that there's only like four actually unique bosses in this game. Okay, apparently it gets really fast on this last phase here. Not really. <laughs> it was only really that. Uh, it don't really matter for, like, one phase. You see how, like, slow it is when you get, like, you transition? The load screens are longer in the original. That's one thing they fixed in later versions. Which, I'd say that's actually a good thing. That's a good thing that they fixed that. Alright, so here's one of the big changes. There is no, um... There's no net at the start of this level. So, it's a little little slightly danger more dangerous at the start. Oh, what the fuck? That's weird. That's really weird. What the hell? I don't think that was documented. This level in particular has quite a few changes. I think they made it easier so they could ease players into, um, this world a bit more. Oh, almost died. <laughs> the camera may or may not be worse in this version, too. That might just be a skill issue, though, honestly. Yeah. I think there's, uh, like a couple of rearrangements for the fruit and the pack dot. These switches look really shiny in this version. <laughs> so that is like a shortcut that gives you like a checkpoint. You don't actually have to press that switch though. 
You do get like an apple if you do though. Actually, I think you might have to actually hit that switch. Oh yeah, um... There's this area. This, I think, is different. I could be wrong though. Yeah, it's honestly surprising how much of this level they changed. This also seems different. Like the 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 button or the the bounce pad is like in a very different spot. <laughs> this might be one of the most like changed levels. <sighs> oh yeah, watch out for those guys because I think they still instant kill. I don't know if it's just me. They look a little different. <laughs> I'm gonna be saying that a lot. Because some of the PS2 stuff is higher quality than GameCube. Like, I, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure the GameCube and PS2 are kind of equal. But I think the PS2 is more powerful. Hmm. I kind of want to look that up, actually. <laughs> is... Is the PS2 more powerful than the GameCube? <laughs> well, let's find out. The GameCube has... Well, the GameCube has a better megahertz processor. <laughs> really, no. So the GameCube is actually more powerful than the PS2? That's kind of interesting. It was hampered by the disc format. Oh. So the GameCube is more powerful, but since the GameCube can only have, like, 1.4 gigabytes of disc space... Oh, I see, I see. That actually... That's kind of interesting, honestly. So because of the fact that the GameCube only allowed a certain disk space size, um, naturally it made it so that you couldn't have very detailed looking games. Because if you did, then the, um, the game would be too big. Which is why games like Tales of Symphonia came on like two to three disks. That makes a lot of sense actually. Although, when I look at the file size for this game, the file size for this game is only like 900 megabytes. It's not a very big game. Actually, I don't know how big the PS1 game is either. I don't know how big Pac-Man World 1 is, but it can't be that big, really. So far, I'm not really noticing a lot of major changes in this level. Okay, those... Wait, hang on. So... Okay, I can't really test it. Okay, I need to test something. So, the darts don't instant kill me. Okay, but the ghost, the ghost still instant kills. Sorry about the flickering, I don't know why that happens. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fix that. Since I don't intend to, like, fully complete this version, I don't think we'll have to worry too much about the flickering. It's gonna be a one once per level thing. Oh yeah, if I'm not mistaken, I believe the um, PS2 version is also less. Um, it's a little more stingy with checkpoints. Every now and then it is, anyway. Ow. <laughs> I think we'll probably go up to like, I don't know, at least the lava world. Might be able to get halfway through level world. Who knows? We'll see. I'm not sure yet. I'm just gonna see how much of this game I can um, complete in one sitting. Because it's only been 15 minutes. I'm already I'm already like halfway done the forest world. But then again, the forest world and the beginning world are very easy. Like, I really don't think this game gets challenging until, like, Ice River Run. 
Or no, not Ice River Run. Avalanche Alley. Avalanche Alley. Actually, no. Blade Mountain. Blade Mountain is when it gets really hard. Oh yeah, here's an example of where the metal power... The chrome ball power up being a uh, order is actually a... It's actually a problem. See, it actually lasts just barely enough time. So you have to be way more optimal with it. Also, I only have like two lives. <laughs> I haven't been getting very many. That was a w that was a weird spot for that power up. All right, let's go over here. Let's get our uh, let's do our let's get our extra lives farm real quick. Should I do this a couple times? Takes a little bit to die. <laughs> Oh, I didn't get the checkpoint. Oops. <laughs> Could have sworn there was a checkpoint nearby. I think the one of the weirder things for me so far is the different, like, chrome ball sound. It sounds very different. I'm not sure what they did to it. Did I miss the checkpoint or something? I think the checkpoint's up here, actually. Yeah, I missed- I just missed it. <laughs> I love the after images that show up on Pac-Man. Alright, I'm gonna get a couple more lives. <laughs> It takes a little bit for it to register, like, oh, fuck, Pac-Man's dead, bro. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Thankfully, I, I know what I'm doing, so getting back here is not really a problem. Alright, I think 25 lives is good. You go, you go, like, so far up in the air. <laughs> it's crazy. I don't know why they put two checkpoints like that, like, back to back. That is kind of weird, actually. I never really thought about that before. But yeah, they just deadass put two checkpoints, like, mere seconds from each other. And there's another checkpoint here. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Alright, so if I'm not mistaken, I believe you can actually sequence break. If you're fast enough, you can actually sequence break this. Yep, you can. <laughs> so if you damage boost all the way up here, you can skip having to get the chrome ball power up. Which saves a bit of time, but it is a little risky, obviously. I used to do that sometimes as a kid. I like how canonically it takes Pac-Man an entire night cycle to get through this forest. <laughs> I think it was actually the way I was supposed to go the first time, but I sequence braked and, uh, or sequence broke, rather. <laughs> Gotta use the proper grammar. I don't- I forget how I did it, but I know I did it. It's, it's like, way too easy to sequence break in this game. Like, I just kind of do it out of habit, because that's what I've been doing for years and years. Alright. Well, we're done with that level. As far as I know, the fruit and pack dot totals are uh, unchanged. 
It's just sometimes they got rearranged, that's all. <laughs> Alright, so here's the Funi Ghost. Okay, goofy at camera angle. Oh yeah, also, for some reason, the music pauses when you pause. I think that's honestly a little more natural. <laughs> like, I mean, wouldn't it make sense for um, the game to pause the music when you, um, like, actually pause the game? You can like really audibly hear the saw the saw blade in this version. <laughs> like dead ass sounds like a frickin' Ow. I don't know how he hit me there. Ow again. Whoa, 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 I forgot he does that. There we go, that's what I was trying to do. Oh, and there's no, there's no, like, glitched sound now. <laughs> the golden strawberry. <laughs> the game has kind of a tone, it's like, dude, it's the gold, not the golden strawberry. Oh, yeah. So, the interesting thing here is... The music here is actually the level music. But in the uh, GameCube version, it plays like a unique song. It's only found in that version of the game. Yeah. Oh, that they also make a different noise. That is probably like the weirdest thing about this version so far, is that sound effect. Is the different rev roll sound. Oh yeah, that's right. That's something I forgot about. Pac-Man automatically slips on ice when he r rolls onto it for the first time. That is kind of a difficulty change, actually. And it kind of makes speedrunning this level a little harder. Yeah, because since you have to get used to Pac-Man, um, like, sliding... It, it, like, it slows him down. It doesn't actually, like, affect his... Like, it doesn't actually affect his momentum too much. Ow. <laughs> Yeah, so every time you jump on the ice, it does that. Yeah, I, I honestly would hate to try and speedrun this specific version of the game. Because <laughs> you have no momentum at all, which is really jank. Is it... I mean, it only really applies for this level anyways. Honestly, the rams definitely sound less, uh, threatening. <laughs> because, I don't know, the, the noise they make is, like, so imposing on the GameCube version. I always, I always thought that. Oh, watch out for the fishy. Yeah, so you you just can't you just can't cheese the level as much. I'm not really big on that, honestly. I think it makes I think it's actually more to the game's uh, was the word I'm looking for. It's not to the game's benefit, I can tell you that. <laughs> it makes the game it makes the game artificially harder, if you ask me. 
We have these snowball ghosts. Which, yes, those guys also instantly kill you. You have to, like, jump before you lose control. <laughs> Almost fucking died. <laughs> That could have been really bad. Also, I had no idea that these, um, these can tilt. Also, why is there a checkpoint, like, right at the end of the level? That makes no sense. Ooh, wow, look at that. Look at that effect. That is a really weird effect. Why is it, like, smoky there? <laughs> You know what level I'm actually kind of curious for now? I'm kind of curious to see what, um... Blade Mountain is like. I'm surprised that in all my time playing this game... I, um, never really... Looked into the original PlayStation 2 revision. Okay, so in, in this level, the ice is normal. <laughs> I can just imagine someone like. Okay, never mind, the ice is still the same. I think it's a different story if you. Oh god. Oh fuck. Oh yeah, there is a bug that I kind of want to try on this level, though I don't know if I'll be able to get it. There is a bug where if you rev roll onto the ice... Oh, back man, no. <laughs> if you rev roll, if you do a rev roll and then somehow may end up on the ice, you get like a fuck ton of momentum. But the problem is actually getting it to work, because I think it's like a frame-perfect trick. What the hell was that? What was that goofy-ass roll pack, man? Yeah, I can't seem to get it. Well, if you guys want, you can look up a speedrun of this game. They definitely make use of that trick. They make use of the rev roll, um... The Revel on Ice trick. Where you just get like some insane momentum and skip like half the level. So I don't think there's any ice for the rest of this level. Or at least for the rest of this section at least. There's ice there and that's about it. Like the, the trick is you have to get... Oh god, these are fast. I f they made those faster, too. I forgot about that. Well, they can see, like, the blades in the background. Oh my god, that is really awkward. So every time you... Every time you, um... Jump on the ice, you lose your momentum again? That is really fucking jank. I'm not sure if these are in a different spot. I mean, if you ground pound the ice in the GameCube version, you do lose your momentum. That's normal. Also, I remember there's a funny thing you can do if you let these guys blow you. Uh, you can die. The Pac-Man died in mid-air, bro. <laughs> I didn't have- I did not have control of myself there. <laughs> so, you know, this would be a good place for a checkpoint, honestly. <laughs> yeah, you just lose your momentum over and over. 
really jank. I'm not, I don't really like it, honestly. Is there not a checkpoint nearby? Oh, hello, snowballs. Hello. This, this guy's in a really bad spot. Get out of the way, bro. Oh, I clipped through the- I clipped through the wall. Okay, that was a bit scary. I'm okay with that, though. I skipped some part of the level. Half the fun of this level is just seeing how much shit you can skip. You guys can really easily knock you off the level. Alright, here's the fun part. This is where the fun begins. You have to be able to control your momentum. But you also have to be able to control your momentum without dying. <laughs> That's another problem. Actually, I don't know if the ice thing works in this version. Because you slip on ice instantly. Oh, there you go. I think that was the glitch. I had, like, a bunch of extra momentum there. Okay, I got some extra health back. Checkpoint. Oh, yeah, that is very good. Okay, I see why speedrunners use that now. See how little momentum you get otherwise? I just slipped in midair. No big deal. <laughs> but again, a speed run of this game can definitely show you a lot of cooler things than me. I mean, it's just very inspirational watching, um... Oh. Shit like that can happen if you're not careful. <laughs> I like how there's just an unfair icicle at the very start of the of the section when you respawn. Yeah, I like how the blowy guys are to your advantage now. It's only really effective if you get a good rev roll though. Yeah, there's something that's just really charming about seeing a speedrun of one of my favorite games. That's probably why I like to watch, um... And that's just bullshit. That's probably why I like to watch, um... Speedruns of, like, all the Mario RPGs and stuff. At least the first three. Anything after Super is just, like, I don't really care. Although, <laughs> I think one of the most entertaining Mario RPG, ran uh, like, speedruns is the Paper Jam speedrun, considering they just skip, like, most of the game. And the speedrun itself is only, like, 50 minutes long. Ooh. <laughs> Look at those weird particle effects. That- that ending is definitely- it definitely looks a little different. Alright, is Blade Mountain any different? Oh, there's no intro. Normally you get, um... Ow. Normally you get a little intro before this level starts. But I guess not in this version. <laughs> to be honest, I kind of prefer that because I don't really care for the tutorial. I still need to come back and 100% this level, by the way. It's going to be kind of a bitch. Probably gonna need its own episode. <laughs> Especially because I still don't know how to get up here. You see where this this um you see where this thing is? This I can never get consistently. 
<laughs> well, I got it now, but of course I get it when it doesn't matter. Oof, almost didn't make that. Well, I can learn this level a little bit, which would be nice. Oh yeah, and the fucking speed run on this level too is gonna be a bitch. Especially because I have to do one, like, perfect run of it. And if you get hit by, like, a single icicle, the run is Jover. <laughs> The sounds are too overbearing. They definitely tone down the sa the the sound mixing in the in the later versions. Oh, I forget. Is there anything on this side besides like a crate? I think that's it. I don't like the multiple pathways. Both have stuff necessary for 100% completion. Which means you're pretty much you're pretty much guaranteed to have to come back to this level at least once. <laughs> I love I love I love Pac-Man's shimmy. <laughs> okay, I'm getting a little too carried away now. Keep in mind, you have to get all of these in one go. I mean, not one go, you get, like, checkpoints, but still, if you, if you fuck up at any point, you gotta die and reset. So unless you can get them all in one perfect, like... One perfect go, you know. <laughs> say, hi to, say hi to that checkpoint over and over again. There we go. I also have to, um, get the melon in the level. I don't even know if I got the melon. I did not get- I don't think I got the melon. I don't know where the melon is in that level, to be fair. <laughs> pac is just like, oh. Uh. Alright, you can stop shooting. Alright, I'm just waiting for you to paint your phase. Oh no! Ran out of health. What the fuck? <laughs> that was weird. Trying to get like a double hit here, you know? Ah, uh, but the problem is when I hit her, I fall. I know it's possible to get like a double hit on her. Speedrunners have done that too. Wow, I'm just dead. <laughs> okay. Goofy ass snowballs. Why don't you come over here instead? Yeah, so if you get hurt the third time, you get you get uh you get teleported back. Makes this a lot easier. <laughs> I'm dead again. Camera, work with me here. Oops. I'm not I'm trying to rush this fight because I, I I find that fun. 
Oh, we got the double hit. Let's go. Got it. There we go. That's the cheese where you can double hit because her iframes run out. Speedrunners love to do that. I know that. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, we've only been going for 41 minutes. Oh yeah, this level is a great example of ghosts just instantly killing you. Whoa, I almost died. Here's the pukas. This level probably gets some of the most, like, changes out of any level. In, like, any revision of this game. I don't know why this level in particular. It's not- I don't- I think this part is, like, unchanged, though. Oh, and here's this funny guy. He turns them blue. What? <laughs> That's weird. I don't remember that. Also, I see like a... Hang on. Is it just me or I see like a weird sparkle in the distance there? Do you see that? I'm not sure what that is. That might be the end of the level, actually. Is it possible that the end of the level is just loaded at all times? That could be very possible. Yeah, I'm gonna ignore that. I think the challenge is really gonna start amping up, though, in the next level, though. I feel like that's really where it's... Because, like, here's the thing. The Chrome Ball power-up only lasts for 20 seconds. Which is gonna make it a lot harder. And here's this guy that I can't kill. Yeah, I see it. Wait, hang on a minute. That has to be the end of the level. Okay, fall damage. Thanks, fall damage. Bruh. Bruh. Alright, don't mind me just passing by. Okay, so here's where, um, normally the level would end. This is where the- yeah, that is the end of the level. I- I see it. This is where- that's- so right there, that's where the level would end normally in, um, like, the Japanese version. Because for some reason the Japanese version made this level way shorter. I love- so I love how you can just see the end of the level, like, halfway into it. <laughs> There's something kind of funny about that. That's kind of it's kind of funny. All right, here it is. So we are at um 45 minutes and we're already done the first level of the lava world. I mean, it really depends how um, tough these levels are gonna be. Also, I think that ghosts can still kill you even when you're in metal power in the metal mode. Could be wrong about that. So that's kind of that's kind of interesting then. The the red the. The Chrome Ball power-up was designed... But the levels were designed to only have the Chrome Ball last 20 seconds. I don't know, there's something kind of neat about that, to be honest. <laughs> so we got a checkpoint.
I mean, the Chrome power-up is in Pac-Man World 1 as well. I don't know, I don't remember how much it gets used in that game. The, the level I know it gets used in is like one of the pirate levels, which is in World 1. That's about it, though. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, these levels, this, this, this doesn't really last long enough. Alright, I'm just gonna skip past this, don't mind me. There we go. Hmm. Okay, I don't remember that platform being there. Could be wrong, but yeah. And also, I'm not sure if they changed the red roll physics in between the revisions. That might be documented too, I'm not too sure though. Cool. Cool. The enemy sounds are like way more audible in this version. I think that's a good thing though. Ow. <laughs> like, the, like the black gross splatters. Alright, this is a certified drink break moment right here. So that's why they put a second that's why they put a second chrome power up here, because normally it wouldn't last that long. And the camera needs to work with me here. Okay, goofy at angle there. I think I might stop after um, Magma Opus or something. I don't think I'm going to play this game for very long today. I think I'm just going to do an hour. And I might combine I might combine these into like a full episode later or something. I don't know. At least that's what I'm thinking. So I don't feel like playing the whole game in one sitting. Ow. Kind of funny, they put a checkpoint here. And that melon would give you the Galaxian, I think. Well, I essentially know because, um... The Blinky boss fight's gonna give me some shit. Alright, so now we have to go back. <laughs> and also I'm about to die. That doesn't help. Kind of hard to see the fire even coming. Oh, well, it's also hard to see that coming. <laughs> yeah, you know, what? I'm kind of in the mood to just call it here after this this level. I'll worry about um, I'll worry about hundred percenting this game. Uh, maybe next time. I don't know. If I have more time, I'm probably going to stream Paper Jam. I want to stream pa me playing Paper Jam, because I want to try and get the, um, what's it called? The, um, the Farmer Boots. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm not mistaken, I believe a, speed a good speedrun of this game takes, like, an hour and a half or something. That sounds about right, because I, di I died a lot, obviously. <laughs> like, I think the speedrunners will be way further ahead by this point. And also, I need to find out, like... I need to find out, like, where, um... Where just, like, the... What am I trying to say? I missed some fruits in this level, I think. And I'm honestly not sure where I missed them. Yeah. 
Okay, but to be honest, I'm not really in the mood to do Magma Opus, so I think I'll just call it here. But I will meet you guys back in the next segment, where we're gonna maybe finish the rest of the game. Alright, hello. We are back with more Pac-Man World 2. Uh, I took a little break. Um, because honestly, the second half of the game is, uh, it's a bit rougher <laughs> than the first half. I'm not really looking forward to playing it much. Like, I honestly do think this is the level where the game kind of starts to go downhill in quality. <laughs> so I needed a little break before I thought about playing it. You can actually hear the noise that they make. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't sound like the spiders make noises, though. I just feel like the sounds are way more audible. I think I already mentioned that, though. I should probably say something new for a change. <laughs> you know, kind of like how, um... What am I trying to say? Oops. I did not make that jump. I think I was supposed to go a little higher. Oh yeah, I was gonna say how I've been, um, working on- I've, I've been editing, um, a lot of Paper Mario recently, because I've been learning how to mod Paper Mario. You know, regarding, uh, regarding that. Oh, come on, let me up. Let me up. Let me up. There you go. <laughs> Editing Paper Mario is not as easy as I thought it would be. And that is that is very prevalent in the fact that I have to learn how to code. <laughs> and... I'm really trying to figure out how I want to word this. All fall damage, guys. The, um... I've never done coding before. So that's why modding Paper Mario is a bit tricky to me. Also, the camera doesn't want to work with me here either. <laughs> You can just hear the shit out of that lava. Like, I'm kind of glad that the lava's not that noisy in the GameCube version. It's a bit nice, honestly. So if I'm not mistaken, I think you can just go over here and skip this whole level. <laughs> There's like a whole, like, alternate pathway thing that you could do, or you could just take this and skip all of that nonsense. Yeah. I've never done coding in any game before, so Paper Mario is like kind of my first exposure to that. And it's not that bad, I'm learning some of the, I'm learning some of the, you know, codes and like stuff like call a certain actor and Call, set actor to position and shit like that. You know, kind of the basic, the basic coding stuff. And that, um, that I'm kind of getting better at. I haven't learned everything there is to know about coding yet. And I'm not, like, the smartest. Oh. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Pac-Man. You can't just you can't just butt bounce your way to the bottom or else you die. <laughs> I mean you could. I'll try it one more time. If I don't get it, I'll just say, eh, fuck it. <laughs> nope. <laughs> By the way, apparently um PCSX2 wants to update, but I can't figure out how to get it to update because it says like my run my Windows runtime is outdated or something weird like that. And I, I, I just can't figure out how to get it to work. 
Oh. Oh, there's... You die if you take too much fall damage in this game. You can't... You can't just... Wait, hang on. I got an idea. Big brain idea, maybe? It really looks like I can get to that checkpoint over there. I'm gonna try one more time. Oh. Okay, that's one way to do it. Oh, and it just it just considers me out of bounds if I do that. Hey man, this is fun. It's fun to do it this way. The death, the death plan is really weird there. Like, you can't skip shit. <laughs> Alright, that's enough messing around. Oh. <laughs> Bye, Pac-Man. Okay, I'm dying too much. See, the thing is, um... I think the speedrunners know very well about, you know, the death planes and shit in this level. Alright, time to have fun. Oh, wow. Maybe I'll watch a speedrun. No, not honestly. I'm kind of in the mood. I'm kind of in the mood to um, speedrun this level now. I'm not sure what happened. Oh. I'm going to have to go back to my lives grinding spot at this rate. I might have to. Because <laughs> I'm dying too much. Unless I can beat uh, Blinky in like 15 lives. Don't know if that's going to happen though. Especially when this keeps happening. Alright, come on. No more jank. No more jank. Oh, fuck. No more jank. Oh, you just go into the th level complete plane. That wasn't too bad. What do you think? Do you think we can beat Blinky in 15 lives? I'm gonna try it. Plus there isn't- isn't there an extra live in this anyway? Oh, there is no extra- there is no extra lives here. <laughs> I wonder if the hitboxes are gonna be any equally janky in this. Phase one. By the way, he has like five phases. Can you believe that shit? Five phases for this fucking boss. <laughs> Actually insane. Alright. Do your do your lava thing. Whoop. A whoop. I think I'm you think I'm Senator Armstrong? Alright, so far so good. The sound the sound effects in this boss fight are way cooler. <laughs> Maybe it's just because I can hear them better? I don't know. Can also happen where you get get you get burnt on the way over to him. All right, shoot your fucking fireballs. Ow.
Oh yeah, you can get a double hit if you're lucky. Oh, I almost one-cycled him, bro. Dude, I was so close to winning this battle first try. How many damn times are you gonna go through this? Oh my god, I got the double hit. Let's go. That's what I was talking about. Okay. This kind of cheeses him out. <laughs> He's, he's, he's going, he's going places. Uh-oh. Fuck. <laughs> I couldn't figure out where he was going. I got 12 lives, I'll be fine. I'm just gonna stay over here, he can't really reach me over here. <laughs> like, he's trying, he's trying to hit me. He like he like shimmies out of the way. Okay, fuck it. I won't do that again then. I did get the double hit on him the first time though. Alright, yeah, just gonna chill. <laughs> just gonna chill over here. Also, there's like these weird like blue smokes that I don't notice in the GameCube version. Alright, just, just play it safe. Oh shit. <laughs> there he goes. Okay, let me get a let me get away. He's not smart enough to come over here, so. <laughs> oh oh shit, never mind, he is smart enough to come over here. Oh fuck. Scary shit. Alright, where are you going, buddy? Oh, yeah. The hitbox broke again. Yikes. Ow. Taking too much damage now. He actually does kind of follow you in this final phase. Alright, please work this time, hitbox. Fuck! <laughs> Why didn't it work, dude? I was like, bouncing on him the entire time. That's honestly my only problem with this boss fight, is if the fucking hitbox decides to stop working for no reason. Okay. Okay, just decided not to work again. That's pretty damn cool. Follow it now. This is not the attempt. I'm gonna have to go for I'm gonna have to go for the double hit, honestly. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that all about? 
Why'd I die? <laughs> I thought that would work. Ow, Jesus, man. <laughs> Chill out. I'm gonna go for the double kill. Oh, fuck. I am a black Pac Man. Yikes. Ow. Why is he being so aggressive this time? Oh, he actually went over there. Okay. Fuck. By the way, I do have to do, um, laundry. I'm doing laundry in the middle of this stream. So... I'm going to, uh... Like, go in, like, 17 minutes. Why? Also, uh, oh, my Twitch is back up. Wait, hang on. What is going on with Twitch? Is my stream dying or something? Oh yeah, my stream is dying. Huh? That's weird. That is very strange. Okay, well, um, Twitch might be down, but I'm gonna keep recording. So, uh, yeah, bear with me, guys. <laughs> uh, I guess, uh, Twitch, I guess my internet is assigned to be shitty today. No bullshit, just try and go for the hit. And miss. I'm gonna go as far away from him as possible. Uh oh. Yikes. <laughs> that is a certified yikes moment right there. I have to go for it. Oh. Okay, I think we're back up. Okay, I'm down with five lives. I might actually have to save state if I get hit, if I die too much. Buddy. <laughs> yeah, don't mind me, buddy. I'm just just going going away. No, I'm I'm, I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm 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 gone. Fuck. <laughs> Oh, we're, we're, it's so Jover. It's so Jover. Yeah, it's Jover. This last phase is the problem.
I don't know exactly where the hitbox is, but yeah. No balls. No balls. Where are you going? Okay. We got him that time. <laughs> Bye, bitch. Yeah, that, that, uh, that went pretty terribly. I lost like 10 lives there. If anything, going to the water worlds is like kind of a nice break. Okay, now my internet is back. I don't know why. I've been kind of having that problem recently where randomly my OBS will just like shit itself. It's very strange. Hopefully that doesn't impact my Twitch too much. I think it's still up. Yeah. Alright, anyways. We're gonna do the water levels and the ghost levels, and we're gonna finish the game. I'm curious how these levels are gonna handle. The fog seems better, I guess? Oh yeah, by the way, there's also like a Windows PC version of this game. Um, I forget what, how the uh, PC version was distributed. I think you could just like buy it for um, Windows or something back in the day when this game came out. But apparently that's the best version of the game, because you can play that game in, like, actual 4K. And you're not limited by, um, any, like, bullshit, like, emulation and stuff. But I wouldn't- honestly, I wouldn't be able to tell you if there's any differences with these water levels, because I don't really play them much. <laughs> I really don't care about them. <laughs> One thing I will need to do is I'll need to look up a token guide for that one fucking level, the yellow pack marine, because I have no idea what you're supposed to do with that one. Also, you seriously have to try to, um, get killed by those sharks. Which, by the way, the sharks are an instant kill, just like the ghosts. But you have to try really hard to die from them, because I've never died from them in this playthrough. Or this playthrough, for that matter. Hey guy, I hear eels. I did find it funny how in a lot of the promo art for this game, it's just Pac-Man and a shark. <laughs> well, it's funny, because those shark guys are from, uh, they're also from the first game. They're one of the few enemies that actually came back in this game. Along with those skeleton enemies in the ghost world. The skeleton enemies also came back. And... I think those are the only two enemies that returned. Could be wrong, though. But it is kind of interesting they brought them back. Well, technically, you can see them now in 4K if you play Pac-Man World Repack, because that game supports 4K. Like it's nothing. <laughs> It's like the first game I've really noticed that's like, oh yeah, this is Pac-Man in 4K, dude. Yeah, that was a pretty fast-ass level. I'm not looking forward to the Pac-Marine level, though. That level's gonna take forever, dude. I don't know why they thought that was a good idea to make that a level. <laughs> like, the great thing about these levels is they're over, like, pretty quickly. Thank you. 
Oh, you... I forgot you can kill the eels. You can kill the eels if you're lucky enough. There goes all my health. Jeez. Yeah, just get two tokens back to back. Why don't you? Anyways, I've been having problems with um, Paper Mario editing because uh, I'm still new to all the code, and I'm just worried that if I, you know, do one wrong thing in the code. That I'm gonna fuck up the entire game. <laughs> Which, um, that can happen. Especially in. I I've done a lot of Mar RPG hacking back in the day as well. And I'm used to, um. I'm used to fucking up hacking in that too. Like, I'll do one wrong thing and then my entire ROM hack is just broken. <laughs> and it it's always shitty when that happens. And. Yeah, like. What I'm trying to say. Also, these boxes don't have anything on them. <laughs> Is that normal? I don't think that's normal. I think they're supposed to have shit on them, but it's just not loading properly. Also, believe me, I looked for a uh, HD texture pack of this game. I couldn't find shit. I guess there's just no fruit on there if you don't have the fruit that you need. <laughs> that could just be an emulation thing, I'm not sure. I'm not sure though. <laughs> I don't really think they needed to change anything about these uh, water levels anyway. Yeah, I just can't open those for whatever reason. So funny thing, I was editing, um, I was editing the Junior Troopa loadout for when you come back from Koopa Bros Fortress, or Coop Notes, as Elijah likes to call it now. And, you know, you have to, the thing about code that some people know and some people don't know is that if you fuck up even one little tiny thing, the entire code just falls apart. <laughs> and I'm sure that is very obvious. So, if there's like one letter missing, one like symbol missing, if like a code is missing or it's in the wrong spot, um, like the entire thing just messes up. Oh, there's actually music here now. It's actually, it's actually a good choice. So why is there no music in the GameCube version, then? You can see Pac-Man smiling in there. Alright, well, let's see just how bad this level is. You know, and this will give me some experience, it's give me some practice for when I have to replay this level for my 100%. As a kid, I never 100 percent this level, ever. <laughs> I never got it. So I just don't know what the fuck you have to do. Like, do you have to just kill every single mine? Well, like, that, that, that seems damn well impossible. Well, the... The ghosts drop oranges. We'll see how many tokens I come out with when I finish this level. <laughs> smart bomb. Sure is smart, because I'm getting my ass- I'm getting- I'm getting like jack shit in this level. I wish there was, like, more things you could do with this, like, instead of just shooting. I feel like 
the ghosts drop. They, they're supposed to drop tokens, I swear. Oh yeah, one. Th there was there was one. I just saw one. <laughs> Didn't pick it up though because the hitboxes are so bad. Oh, there is a token right there. So that's one. That's one out of eight. And I'm dead. So that token didn't matter. Watch when I when I go when I go back, that token's not gonna be there. Did that guy just ram into the fucking wall in the pipe? Yeah, watch out for the smoke. Well, that uh, there's an apple here. This is why I kind of wish you could, like... No, you know, I kind of wish he didn't have to 100% everything in one go. For a level like this, it would be, like, actually amazing. Yeah, that token, that token was not there that time. And I don't think you get to keep your tokens either when you die. one cherry out of that. I kind of wish he got more smart bombs. That'd be pretty nice as well. Oh yeah, I also did another uh, Mario RPG rerun this morning. Those are those are pretty fun to do. I like doing them. Okay. <laughs> okay. I got all the oranges. Look, another token. I think I saw another token underneath the pipe. I got all the apples, and then I died. Great. Well, my laundry is done anyways, so I'll be right back. All right, well, my laundry is half done. Now I just have to dry it, because I put it through the wash. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's another token. <laughs> You're never, you never you can never tell when the fucking tokens are actually going to show up though. Those guys also can drop tokens. Love this gun. This gun's so good. I just feel powerful when I have this. Hey, look, a token. <laughs> Hopefully I can actually keep this damn token, you know? There's another one down there.
Maybe this level won't be too bad, 100%. That's what I would, that's what I'm trying to say. It's good, it's easy once you get the gun. The gun makes it way easier. I heard, I heard the token noise. That's what it sounded like. There's another one, but the but the hitbox broke. Oh, there's another orange. I missed it again, bro. Bro, the hitboxes on the tokens are terrible. Not, well, actually nothing. There was actually nothing there. <laughs> what the hell? Seriously, this level makes no damn sense. I right, come for you guys. Really enough, someone has an actual good guide on this wall, right? It's gonna damage boost my way through it. There's a, there was an extra hit point down there. I'm only getting extra- I'm only getting health now, not actual tokens. That's a bit weird. Oh, I think this is the end of the level, actually. Right here. Yep, called it. So how many tokens did I get during that run? <laughs> I got three out of eight. How? How did I only get three? Like seriously, look at that. And I only got, okay, hang on. I says I got six out of five oranges. That's another weird thing. There's more oranges than the game actually tells you. It's so dumb. And I only got like 14 cherries. So weird. Ooh, badass music time, yeah. Here's the ghosts. I love this boss still. Like this is like this is actually a good use of the pack marine. Honestly, I wish they just made like a decent water level and saved the pack marine for the boss. Like the boss, it, I have no problem with this being a boss. Like as a like the the pack marine works really well for the fucking boss. By the way, I still need to figure out how to, um, emulate Dreamcast games. That's something I haven't quite figured out yet. Because I want to play Puyo Puyo 4. I think I already mentioned that before. Yeah, I did mention that I want to play Puyo Puyo 4. And to do that, I need to be able to emulate the Dreamcast. And... I think RetroArc can run Dreamcast, though I haven't tried it yet. I kind of want to though, so I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give it a chance. All right, let's wait till all the turbines are on the screen. There we go. That'll definitely help speed up this boss.
Alright. <laughs> Once I get the gun, it's all over. I never thought it'd be a good idea to make Pac Man and the ghosts have an underwater dog fight. That they didn't even raise for that one, it's honestly amazing. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead, dude. Yeah, that is the problem with only taking out the right side of turbines. It's kind of hard to get some actual hits in. Come oh, on, just shoot at it. Oh, this is going to take forever. This, this fight's taking way longer this time around. I wanted that health. Not what I wanted to have happen, bro. <laughs> I'm dying, bro. I'm dying over here. Fuck. And it didn't say. It didn't. It didn't say after I hit him the second time, did I? Nope. Ghosts. Oh, the fucking turbine is like hitting me. That's the problem. I'm like moving a little too much. That's kind of what's screwing me over here. Also, by the way, I'm probably going to give you guys an audio warning when the boss dies, because if I remember correctly, the boss makes a really loud noise when you kill it. This is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. He just never wants to come into view. There it is. Woo! That was it. That wasn't actually as loud as I thought it would be. Alright, well, the water world is done, so we can just focus on being the game.
I have sworn there's like thunder effects on this island in this version. Also, I love the, um, I love how the water, like, kind of transitions into, like, that mist you see in the background there. Well, the lightning's definitely more aggressive. <laughs> It's like flashing like every other second, bro. It's a cool effect, though. You know, I can I can fix the I can fix the music, right? I, or the the sound, screen and brightness. Oh. <laughs> Vibration, you can change vibrations. So why is there a circle in the top left corner? Weird. Yeah, fuck it. I'm I'm fixing the uh Oh no, oh no. It, that that thing happened where I grab the thing and then I fall. That frickin' bat, bro. The noises are still too loud. I don't know why the, um... Reversed stereo? Why would you want that? This... <laughs> why would you want reverse stereo? I've never seen a game do that before. That is very weird. You know, it's like it's like when you, Twitch streamers or YouTubers do that thing where it's like, here, I'm gonna test and see if you're wearing your headphones wrong, <laughs> and then they just play like weird, some weird ass stereo sound. Oh shit, I fucked up. Yeah, they play like a weird, they play like a super weird ass uh, stereo sound, and <laughs> people are like, uh oh, I was wearing my headphones the wrong way. <laughs> Because trust me, that's happened to me before. Also, I pretty get up 100% of this level, honestly. To be honest, I don't think I did. And also, 100%, uh, going for the time trial on this one's gonna be kind of a bitch, too. So, yeah. Why, just get me to the damn checkpoint. Yeah, hey, sure, I'll take I'll take the extra life. Thanks for the generous donation. <laughs> Whoop. I really I really do think the rollerblading mechanic is is fun. Even though it is only used for, um, one level, I still find it more enjoyable than the ice rink, the ice skating, um, mechanic. <laughs> Roller- rollerblading is better than ice skating, confirmed, even though I'm the Canadian here. Oh yeah, that's right, the ghosts can instantly kill me. So I have to actually- I have to really watch out for them. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Come on, get up there, Pac-Man. Get up. We got business. <gasps> get up there, get up there. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, those, those, those ghosts are actually a threat, what the fuck. Can I make it? Can I make it? Woo! <laughs> this, is a, this is a tense ass level, I love it.
bet, I bet, I wonder how speedrunners feel about this one, huh? It's like the end of the level right here, we gotta make it. Alright, we did it. First, pretty, pretty much first try, honestly. I died like a couple times. That's about it. Here's like the easiest level of this world. No. <laughs> that apple. You know, I need to remind myself where the fuck. Oh yeah, here's a skeleton, by the way. Like, the, it's really funny. I I, th I might have mentioned this before too. I don't know. Uh, cause I did do a Pac-Man World 2 randomizer video a long time ago. And I might have mentioned the fact that in that. Oh, also, there's only one orange in this level, by the way. The. What am I trying to say? The skeletons. There's only. Um, the skeletons are strangely in the last world of the game. Meanwhile, in Pac Man World 1, they're in the first world of the game. <laughs> So they like hella repurposed the uh, skeleton enemies. I don't know, there's just something I find really cool about that. Okay, I can kind of hear the spiders now. Oh, I did not find the cherry anywhere. This is what I get for skipping shit. Where the fuck was the cherry at? <laughs> was there even a cherry in this maze? There's an apple. You guys got cherries? This is what happens when I uh, skip shit. I hear a spider somewhere. So he does- yeah, he does make noise. Hello spider, where are you? Actually, that's not the spider, that's the torch. The torch making that sound. Huh. <laughs> Wait, there's the cherry, I missed it somehow. Yeah, I'm the dumb one. Wait, no, come back. Come back, platform. I remember I replayed this level so much. Because <laughs> this was like the only level in this world that I could really tolerate. Although, honestly, I'd argue Ghost Bayou is pretty fucking good, too. And I'm glad 100% that one first try. Even if that level's also pretty damn long. Although, you can really cheese that one. The only levels I'm really worried about when it comes to the time trials are gonna be the, um... The levels that have, what, like, gimmicks to them. So the water levels, all of those. Um... Some of the lava levels are kind of a problem, too. I still don't remember where the last apple is in this level, by the way. Well, fuck you, bat. Who cares what you have to say? So I have two apples, and there's a third apple in that maze, but the fourth apple, I have no idea. Like, I think one of the bats has it or something. Yes, one of the bats does have the final apple. I missed that apple for, like, the longest fucking time, and I still missed it on this playthrough. Somehow. Wait, oh, not gonna walk, not gonna make, try to make that cycle. Well, now I know how to 100% this level when I come back to it later. Look at all these damn torches. Ooh. Huh. 
Those platforms don't make any funny noises like they do in the GameCube version. I'm gonna roll around this guy. Look at all those bones. Mr. Bones everywhere. <laughs> this reminds me of the ongoing He-Man joke that me and uh, Desmond keep doing. Oh, and my bottle fell over. Great, fuck you. Alright, how much longer till my laundry's done? I think, my, I think I'll be able to beat this game before my laundry's done. Freaking crickets, man. Wow, Pac-Man's like dripping with water, bro. He's wet. Pac-Man, stop being wet. It's against TOS. <laughs> But yeah, there this level probably has some of the most skips ever. There's a crap ton of skips in this level. It's like insane. You can skip half the level if you know what you're doing. <laughs> and that's one reason I really like this level. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know, I just feel like some of the graphical effects in this game are more impressive than on the GameCube version. It's really strange. I mean, look at those water effects, bro. It's a shame I'm not 100%ing this version, though, because I never wrote with this version. I mean, to be fair, the PS2 did have Metal Gear Solid 2, and that's a still... It's surprisingly, that game's never been perfectly emulated on any, like, revision of it. The PS2 original is still the best, technically. There's just a crap ton of effects that are only in that version of the game for some weird reason. Alright, well, we're about to get, we're about to get near our first skip soon. I don't remember where the skip... I think there's a skip over here. I mean, there's a token here. I actually don't think you can do any skips here. But I know you can later, and that's where the fun... That's where the fun begins, as Anakin says. Can you make that jump? No. No, you can't. No. Oh, I might as well grab that life that's here then. Ain't this like the slow way around though? This is the slow way. Oh yeah, those jumps really fucking suck, by the way. <laughs> I hate those jumps, dude. They're so bad. I'm surprised I got them first try when I played this level. But th those jumps are just like, kind of run killers, honestly. Because they're so specific. You have to make, like, the act... Like, you have to make the, like, the perfect jump. And if you don't get... If you don't hit... If you don't hit the jump, you're not making it. You're not making it across. Like that. You, I could have died there.
I don't know if they made this timer more strict or anything. Boners everywhere! I'm about to run out of time, bro. I need more boners! Fuck! I, I ran- I didn't have any boners, bro. I ran out. Nah, don't do that. No time to waste. We gotta we gotta kill every boner in sight. Alright, there we go. <laughs> And yes, that timer is on the time trial version, too. Like, you can see the frickin'... You can see the frickin', like, teleporty things from all the way over here. Alright, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do a little... Well, where's this go? I forget. We're gonna do a little skippy skip here. I, I don't, actually, I don't know if this is a skip or not. I'm gonna do what I think is a skip, though. Yeah, I don't know why the sparkles are, like, so prevalent <laughs> in this game. Like, you can just see sparkles from, like, a mile away. It's kind of funny, honestly. Um, so where do I go now? I think I need to go over there. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, I actually don't really know where to go in this level. Half the time. Listen to those crickets, bro. Listen to them. <laughs> They're going crazy. Oh, hell no, I ain't making that. Yeah, I'm gonna combine this and the first part into, like, two episodes. Or one episode, rather. Oh, yeah, so you're supposed to come from here, and then you're supposed to go, like, this way, I think. And then I need to get over there somehow. Like that. I see a checkpoint over there. I'd like to get over there, though. Okay, so now we're at, like, the start of the level. Oh, okay, the pack dots just spawned in. <laughs> Never seen that happen before. It's kind of funny just seeing them pop in like that. Well, if there are fruit here, this means I have not been over here yet. It could also possibly mean there's just a dead end. Where the hell am I going? <laughs> Where the hell do I go from here? Like, this is quite literally a maze level, but in, like, a good way. Okay, I think this is new. I don't remember this. There's this funny ghost here that could definitely instantly kill me. 
Hmm. Why does there just why is there just no geometry there? <laughs> Bro, bro's actually getting lost in this freaking level. <laughs> Am I going backwards? I think I went backwards in this level. Somehow. I somehow went backwards. That's actually crazy. And this is... Uh, that's nothing. Okay, let me, let me, do, a, let me do a rev roll over there then real quick. Because you can just do that. Well, how about I go over here then? My ass ain't been over here yet. It's like when Nathaniel Bandy said, your ass is grass, and I still don't know what he means by that. <laughs> I need to get to that switch over there. But how do I do that? Well, we can rev roll over there. I think that's the end of the level, actually, right, here, right there, where that checkpoint is. Or you could die. You know, that's pretty cool, too. Okay, now I'm back here. Yeah, pretty confusing level, huh? <laughs> Okay, I think if we follow along this path, though, we can get back. Yeah, I think this is the correct way. Again, I don't know how you're actually supposed to do this level. <laughs> I just kind of do my own thing and hope for the best. Alright, let's actually make this. Let's actually make it this time. And then we can take the checkpoint. And this is supposed to lead me down the correct path. Oh, yeah, because I don't have these yet. I don't have these fruits. Okay, okay, okay. And then. So you're at, the end goal is to get to that checkpoint with the green switch, and that takes you to the end of the level. My tree! I might, I, I, I might honestly do a couple time trials on the GameCube version after this. I'm kind of in the mood for some. Because that's when we have to 100% this game anyway. Alright, well, we can, um, we can watch the final cutscene again. It's actually got proper audio mixing this time. It's compressed as fuck, though. <laughs> I love how he has like an evil black Pac-Man on his chest. <laughs> I've never noticed that. This is what this cutscene sounded like to me as a kid. <laughs> like it actually sounded that intimidating. <laughs> Holy shit, this looks sick. 
Yo, this looks way fucking cooler than the GameCube version. Man, talk about a ma major glow up. I honestly wish he was a bit harder of a boss, though. <laughs> Still. <laughs> I don't know if there's any way. I don't know if there's any way for someone to do that though. Well, apparently someone made a Pac-Man World 2 editor called like Chain Pellet or something. One thing I find funny is how Pac-Man Pac is just constantly in a sus, like a shock, like, he's, he looks constantly shocked, like, when he's like, oh? Why, you can see, like, debris and shit there. Ooh, oh. Look at that fire. Ow. Ow again. <laughs> you know, if he was a little faster, that'd be a lot more intimidating, too. By the way, this song takes like a full four minutes to loop, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Which means you're never gonna get to hear it because the boss is so damn short. <laughs> if you had like twice as much health, then maybe. Skeleton Boner Man, he's back! Like, I don't know about, like, one of the weirdest things. The fact that Spooky is in Pac-Man World Rally, the fucking race car game featuring villains from Pac-Man World 1, 2, and 3. <laughs> also, the whole reversing controls thing, he never did to me when I fought him the first time. I'm surprised he never did it to me. Ow. Fuck. <laughs> he loves his fireballs. Oh. Okay, he actually did confuse me this time. Wait, he reversed my buttons too. Oh shit. See, now he's actually challenging because he fucked up my controls. Well, that's the thing, if you can get to him quick enough, you don't have to deal with- you won't have to deal with that. Come on, camera, work with me here. <laughs> you know be really funny? Imagine he just spawns in, um... He just spawns in, like, Blinky in his fucking machine. You just have to refight Blinky all over again. You know, it'd be like, it'd be if, like, fucking Del May Cry, where, like, you, if you get caught by the boss, you have to refight an older boss. Now that, that'd be funny. Wow, oh, the music actually looped. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Got him.
will free me again. Well, I actually figured out what he was saying for the first time. Wow, they were right. So apparently, yeah, they fucked up his voice on um, re-releases of the game. You, you were actually able to hear what he said there. He actually has a proper voice there. Yeah, so we're watching the ending a second time, guys. I like how, um... I can't wait- I, I might play Pac-Man World 3 someday. Because in that game, I think fucking Blinky has like a fucking New Jersey accent or something in that game. It's pretty funny. Like, I could be wrong. It's some accent, I don't know. If it's New Jersey, but... It's pretty great. Hey, maybe the ending will be better in the this version. Oh, I got to save. I got to save the game. Alright. Honestly, yeah, it was kind of interesting playing the um, PlayStation 2 version. There's a lot of, like, interesting things about it that I never knew. Like, obviously, level design changes is one big thing. Um, difficulty balancing, that this version's a lot harder. Not sure why specifically the PS2 version is harder. Because I think it came out on PS2 first, and then it got re-released on, like, GameCube and Xbox and Windows. And then they re-released it again on PS2, but with the revision. And every other console got the revisional ver differences. And, honestly, the sound mixing on this one's kind of weird. I think that's probably, that, that's probably the thing that threw me, the, it threw me off the most, was the different sound mixing. Like, in some cases, it's great, because you can hear the enemies better, but also it's, it makes certain other things, like the environmental noise, too loud. <laughs> so, that's also a problem. I do like that you were able to hear Spooky at the end. You actually got to hear what he's saying, because in the GameCube version, you can barely fucking understand what he's saying. Oh yeah, David Logan music. <laughs> the credits seem longer, maybe, in this version, I don't know. Oh, never mind. <laughs> that was uh, that was still pretty abrupt. So my score is five thousand. It's five thousand a hundred twenty on that. What did that say? Yeah, five thousand one hundred. And the game killed itself. Okay, weird. That's very weird. Whatever. We're done anyways. So. Bye, Pac-Man World 2. I can delete you now. <laughs> How odd. The game decided to kill itself when I, um... I don't, I don't know why I did that. That's very strange. But I ain't complaining. Alright, I might do, like, one or two time trial levels in the GameCube version. So, let me boot that up. Alright, so we're back with the GameCube version. Uh, it's gonna be pretty weird to go back to this version now. Just because, um... Again, there are a lot of things where I feel like it's a little... A little... Actually, now I need to see how much different is the spooky, um, fight. Like, how much different does it look? Oh yeah, that is, like, very different. Like, you can actually see, like, the skybox and everything. I knew I wasn't crazy about that. And I have not fixed the weird popping issue. I don't know how you fix that. That is so weird. And it's kind of bugging me. 
Reloading shaders? Okay. And also, I don't think, um... I, I just don't know. I don't know how to fix it. Let me get rid of the on-screen display messages. I don't really want those on. Okay. So, where should we begin? I kind of want to try doing this level. Also, I missed a token somewhere in this level. I don't know where, but we're going to try the time trial of this level and see how that goes. Never mind, we're not going to because my fucking timer's done. My laundry's done. Okay, so I deadass forgot that Pac-Man just falls asleep if you let him sit for too long. <laughs> That's pretty charming, honestly. Anyways. Um, so, I forgot to- yeah, there's something I was gonna bring up. So, I've actually been- I've actually been helping out Jose mod at Smash Ultimate recently. Which is, um, pretty fun. But it's- it also reminded me just how much of a bitch it is to get Smash Ultimate mods working on emulator. <laughs> Cause that kinda- that's kind of tricky, honestly. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. You gotta do this with no checkpoints. You gotta do it in five minutes or less. Well, not five minutes or less. But decent, a decent amount of time. Yes, yeah, so I feel like this is, th th these, these platforms are, um, way brighter on the PS2 version after playing it now. I remember I tried to commit to beating this level, but I don't think I ever managed to do it. Also, I have no idea if it's worth it to grab these clocks or not, because this seems like the long way back. <laughs> and also, if you die, then... You gotta do the entire time trial all over again, buddy. Okay, don't go that way then. <laughs> Pro tip, don't go that way. I don't like that you have to watch this cutscene every time though, that's kind of annoying. Okay, that was like pretty pretty precise rev rolling there. I mean, for all I know, you might be able to skip that gate. <laughs> I'm not sure though. Yeah, so that's just kind of what I've been dealing with recently, is, um, Jose modding Smash Ultimate. I think he's asking me another question right now, actually, but I can't answer him in the middle of the time trial, so I might do it after this. That is very worth it, actually. Speed run. Oh yeah, right, I forgot the camera does this weird ass shit. I'll see how how um close it gets. So I have to not- I also have not to get- I, have, I also have to not get lost in this level. That's a problem in itself, is getting lost. Alright, we gotta kill 20 boners.
And it gets it gets pretty uh it gets pretty tight here too. Where are the boners at, huh? Where'd they all go? So I think if I want to progress, I gotta go this way. Yeah, I'm not too worried about the timer. Could be worse. Hello, ghost. <laughs> At least you're not gonna instantly kill me like in the PS2 version. I need to find that checkpoint. That's the best one I'm trying to find. Okay, well, at least we get a brief period of, um, chilling. That timer's gonna be stuck at 2.43 for a while. I don't think there's anything actually over here. Uh-oh. Alright, we're gonna have to make a really risky move here. We're gonna have to rev roll to their side. No! Oh! Shit. I forget how you get over there. Okay. Alright, I'll ask answers Jose's fucking question. Yeah, I keep jumping over the timer by mistake. Pretty speedy there. Is it? I don't think it. I don't think you can get over that gate actually. Like I could try, but I don't think it'll work. I might just try a different level if I die again. Getting getting those specific rev rolls across the terrain is kind of uh, pretty specific, honestly. water effect is in this version. How have I never noticed that? Fuck. Okay, I'll do a different level. I never noticed that before. This is a long-ass level anyway, so... Yeah. Fucking hell, I, I do this do this a different time. What, what time trials do I need to do? This one? 2.15? Wait, no, I did the time trial. I'm missing the 100%. Oh. At least I know how to 100% that now, so that's one thing done. Um, we could try the time trial on this one. I'll give this a go again. I love that hitbox. Funny ghosts. I don't think I lose as much uh, momentum if I do like a flip jump. Uh oh, Pac Man, what are you doing, buddy? Get up there, bitch. You miss the timer. Every time I miss the timer. I'm kind of thinking about whether or not... I, I'm kind of thinking about when I should get back to my Mario Bros. X level, honestly. Ow. 
Now that I'm like working on um, modding Paper Mario 64, I don't know if I want to go back to my Mario Bros. X level for a while. Oh, I gotta stop taking damage. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm probably gonna miss the frickin' time trial bonus since I missed that one damn clock. box is not worth it. Okay, I guess that, cl that clock's not worth it either, I guess. to beat this level in like 258, don't I? to take this path, because, yay, yeah. oh boy, that was a close one. This is like close to the end of the level, I know it. If I see the three ghosts, I know I'm there. Did it! I don't know what the- wasn't- the time trial for that was like 250 or something, wasn't it? That's pretty frickin' generous. So that level is actually 100%ed now. And hell no, I ain't doing that level. Mmm. I could try and- you know what I should try and do? I should try and get the, uh... Try and get all the fruits and pack dots in this level. see how this goes. Getting those pesky pack dots is pretty precise. I don't think the sharks can have any. Because even if you miss a single one, you're boned. Oh, get over there. I need like a checkpoint. Perfect, okay. I think the ghosts might have one. Could be wrong. I think they just have health, though. None too, it's special. One of the tokens I'm missing for... 
dark attack might be inside a ghost or something. We have what, seven strawberries? Couldn't be too bad. Yeah, I'm in like focus mode here. <laughs> I don't remember how many melons there are either. The pop in is real. <laughs> Alright, here's some pack dots. Cherry. Yeah, this, this music's pretty chill, though. I like. I, mean, I like all of this game's music. They like, they went with a like a very orchestrated approach, and they never they've never done this with Pac-Man ever since. <laughs> I forget where the Galaxian is. Well, the pack dots, at least. Well, fuck off, now's not a good time. Got all the strawberries, okay. That was one of my biggest problems the first time. Got all the cherries, there's a Galaxian that I'll grab now. And I haven't seen this yet. Where are the ghosts at? Oh, there they are. Come on, let's get over there before Pinky does. She actually she didn't even bother. <laughs> Also, I forgot there's like an extra power pellet on the top there for some reason. I don't know why it's up there. I'm gonna grab these if you don't mind. I love that you can also see the sharks down there. That's also really cool. Oh my god. <laughs> that was a close one. This is a really big Galaxian, man. What the hell? Let me just get these. Don't please don't bother me, guys. <laughs> Kind of left these ones unattended, unfortunately. I think these are the last ones. There we go. If I remember correctly, I believe the mazes in Pac-Man World 1 are way worse. <laughs> Why? Why? I couldn't see that, bro. <laughs> I couldn't fucking see. You can't just start me in front of a bunch of jellyfish. All the apples. So I got all the apples, all the oranges, strawberries, I think I got everything. That seems like everything. So they put the Galaxian and the Apple all the way at the end of the level. <laughs> oh, 
let's see. Yep, I did it. I got everything. So that's good. That's one more thing done. Uh, I missed a token in this level. I have to do the time trial for this. This one I also have to do the time trial for. I could try the time trial for this one again. I'll try- I've got like one more token. I need to get like one more. Alright, I keep forgetting. <laughs> you can't grab that immediately. That's gonna waste a lot of time. I'll be doing a lot of waiting in this level. That's kind of why this I don't like doing this time trial much. Funny, 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 weird eating hookah guy. Oh boy, don't fall. Don't fall now. I love these weird ass ghost statues, so they're great. I don't know if I attempted the time trial for this one, did I? Hard to say if I have. Alright, watch out for the geysers. Now I have enough problems with geysers and terraria as it is. Come on, make it to make a cycle. Fuck! I was too hesitant. I, I didn't make the cycle. <sighs> Wow, fall damage again. Probably the smart thing to do is to wait for that thing. Or, like, while you're waiting for it to proceed, you just get a clock. Shoot it! Why'd he shoot it directly at me? That's fucking rude. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> I'm sucking ass at this time trial. Why can't I make that now? Oops. Okay, I might try, like, one more time? I don't know. Maybe just don't... Maybe just don't slide down it like that. There we go. That's what I wanted to do.
feel like I'm doing this very unoptimally. Suboptimal. <laughs> Suboptimal play here. Please don't shoot at me again. <laughs> it was fucking rude when he did that the first time. That's like that's like the only time I've ever actually been killed by that guy. Whoops. Okay. Uh, let's do a different time trial then. I mean, I still need to do Blade Mountain. Blade Mountain is a piece of shit. Did I do Avalanche Alley? I did. So that that's done. We can try. We can try Blade Mountain. Oh, great. Yeah, I gotta do that cutscene every time. <laughs> I wonder if there's any way to go faster in this. That's not fast at all. That's pretty slow, actually. It's not a very long level. I know how long this level is. So I want to see if maybe I can beat it. Finally get this level half done. <laughs> Alright, here's like the hardest part of the whole level right here. Okay. We're about to see if I get the time trial or not, though. Not if I miss the clocks, that's for sure. But I do feel like I'm going pretty fucking fast. What was the time? Like 111 or something? So I have to get a 111 somehow. Come on. 9, 10, 11. Fuck. I don't think I got it. Or was it 109? Might be 109 actually. It's 103! Oh my god. Jesus Christ. How am I gonna get a 103 on that level? Jeez. Ugh. I'm gonna keep trying. I kind of don't really want that 103. So if I don't get a 103, the the time trial is just over. Mm -hmm. 
So that means you gotta get literally every clock. Well, I think changing direction slows you down, too. So you gotta, you gotta hold straight if you want as much momentum as possible. Well, don't fucking do that, bro. What the hell? This is why it's going to take at least, like, two or three episodes to 100% this game. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I know it's going to take a long fucking time. I'd like to focus a bit. Man, he goes so fucking slow. Getting all these boxes can mean the difference of a time trial and not. I think that's it right there. Don't tell me. Don't. I, I missed the fucking jump. That was it. That was the time trial right there. That was it. I had the perfect run and I fucked up the final jump. Are you kidding me? Okay. Well, maybe I'll do that one off screen because you guys, I beat it pretty much. You guys saw it. I'm going to do some of this shit off screen because, uh, I mean, I pretty much got it. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, I think that'll be it for Pac-Man World 2. We kind of had a long episode. And... Kind of... Kind of need a little break from it now today. Oh, I might get some of these tokens off screen, because you guys saw me beat it. You saw me beat that level. So, yeah. Anyways, I'll be doing more of this game. Um, maybe tomorrow, I'm not sure. It is a Thursday, so we'll see. But, um, maybe expect some Terraria tonight, we'll see. But, uh, I'm gonna go for now, so take care, guys, and, uh, see you then.